<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? I'm doing great, teacher. You're doing great. Not great. Not that. No, not, not not great. What happened? No. <laughs> what happened? Was, Why are we not doing great? I was I was working and working and nothing good in in the in the platform. Oh my god! No, 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 no. Come on. Working and working and, and, and what? In in platform, platform, the form. Yes, it was not stuck there. It's okay, right? You're gonna do fine. That's what Thanks. that's what I'm here for. Okay. Thank you. So, anyways, <laughs> no worries, no worries. Okay, <laughs> we're we'll do fine. Yeah, yes. I, I know what's going on with people because, I mean, you guys are always here early, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know what happens to the rest. Like, they come late. I should do something about it. The traffic, the traffic. Traffic, traffic. <laughs> they, work from, they work from home, you know. <laughs> Rafa, how are you? Welcome back, sir. We didn't Hi. see you yesterday here. Thank you. What happened? Yesterday, my dad was in from his back. And oh. Yes, and I was in the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Is, is he okay now? Is he better now? Yes. Thanks okay. to God, yes. All right. Hey, hey, Patricia, I got a... I'm very glad to hear that, uh, Rafa. Patricia, I had a question for you. Is there any is there any condition? Have you ever have have you ever heard this? Sometimes I feel like 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 um, let's say that I, I feel this on my leg, right on my lap. I sometimes I would feel like a drop of water, like cold water, streams down my leg. You know. Is that is that like is that like uh, do you think that's ne uh, neuropathy? Because neuropathy, I do uh, have neuropathy. Do you think that that's neuropathy? Yes, I know that is uh, uh, what is the neuropathy, but uh, you have to to be attended by a neurologist. But neurologist. first, you have to. <clears throat> to make some um, blood tests uh, of as uric acid. Oh, okay. Patching, um, electrolytes. All right, like general, like general tests, right? Uh, glucose. Glucose, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but did, did you understand what I said? It's, it's weird because I just felt it. That's why I asked you because I just felt it. Uh, and I'm not talking. I don't know if that is the reason, but it's weird because a veces, a veces, muy raras veces, right? That's what I was saying. Muy, muy, muy raras veces. It's super, super raro. Pero siento como que me cae una gota de agua, right? Una gota de agua y se siente así como heladita y baja y todo. Pero no es nada. No tengo nada. You know, it's weird. Uh, is that is that something? Eso existe? Does that exist? Uh, <laughs> people, people can feel. Um, everything, everything, really? um, uh, situation that not not exists. That doesn't. That doesn't exist. Um, that is a stress yeah. teacher. <laughs> that is stress. Maybe maybe that is uh, too much stress. Okay. Right. Anyways, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. I'm not gonna ask you uh, medical questions. It was just. It is that is weird. You know. It's it's. It's something interesting. But anyways, right? Um, we're here, guys. All right, we're here to talk about more clauses. No, we're not gonna talk about clauses, guys. There is a section, more guys. There, there, more there, clauses. There, 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 is, there is a part, there is a part where you have to talk, where you have to um, choose between relative clauses and noun clauses, right? Um, if you do have a question on those, let me know. So guys, let's go over the platform because otherwise you know we continue with the class and then yes, yes. and then i forget so what section what section do you want me 
what section that we have not seen in the class before want me to help you with? Section number three? Did you finish section, section three? Point eight. Yes, Hold on, what? Ah, mm -hmm. It's not your class, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I have good internet, guys, but for some reason, the platform, I think the platform is, the servers from the platform are not so good because it takes a long time for me to open the platform sometimes. Does it, does it happen to you? Does that happen to you? Does it take a long time for you to open the platform? No, too? for me it's very fast. Really? Every single time? That's weird. But sometimes depends on the hour. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Exactly. Anyways. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So, section three, right? Yeah. And for good, the number four, too. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> Hold on. Did, did you do, uh, do you need any help with the midterm? No. Yeah. We, uh, yes? <clears throat> no. No. No, finished. right? Yeah, finished. Okay, so section three, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so 2.8, you said, right? 3.8, yes, I'm that's sorry. that's one. Oops. Okay, so what's going on with this? So, so what do we have here? I'm not, if you have not done this so far, I'm gonna let you give me the answers, okay? So we can, so we can For practice. the first, I couldn't, I could find. It says rewrite these, it says the rewrite these statements using the words in parentheses. Remember to use capital letters and periods, right? So the first one is, <clears throat> I could. I wish I could. I, I, I wish, wish I could. Right. So I, I wish, wish I could. Yes. I, I, wish could. I wish I could. Find the time. Find the time. Find, find the time, the time to exercise, right? All right. Very good. My grades aren't very good. Less, if only. Okay. And um, I have a problem with this. If what? only my grades. If only my grades. Last semester. Not been very. Good. I have problem with this. I don't know. Okay. Does yes. anybody have the answer here, guys? No teacher. Oh, no. No nobody. <laughs> no. No teacher. All right. Nobody. So if only, what if we had, if only my grades Grace had were, been uh, good, you know? We, I, I, I wouldn't say very good, but we, let's use very good. Actually, good. And I'll explain why. All right. Uh, have been good last semester, okay? Now, this is a right answer. If this is not a good answer, then... Um, if you, The thing, guys, is that if the platform ask, uh, uh, wants you to put very... Mm -hmm. That is incorrect, okay? It shouldn't be there, but whatever. We're going to check the answers later, later, right? But this this will be correct. If only my grades had been good last semester, mm -hmm. right? Because if, if only is something that you wish. We're going to go over this topic, guys, okay? We have not gone over that topic yet. Topic, but but um, but we're going to go over it, okay? I don't know how to dance very well. I wish. I wish. I, I knew. Knew. New, how to dance very well. How to dance very well, right? Now here again, this is one of those situations in which we should not be using very. Okay, mm -hmm. si la plataforma te dice que usas very, es incorrecto eso, right? Right, it is incorrect because it doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido that and you use well. very. Uh, maybe. It maybe it is wrong. Really. I'll, I, yeah, I'll explain why later. Don't worry, okay? I didn't apply for that interesting job at work. I wish. I wish I applied for that interesting I wish job I had work. I wish I had, I had applied, yes. there, right? I had applied, I should applied for there, yeah. that interesting yeah. job at yes. work. Okay, very good. I'm feeling very stressed these days. 
<clears throat> I help I her with this. I don't know. How would you say it? I forget about grammar. What would you? How would you say, guys? If you want um, to so I if wish I were. I wish I weren't. No. Okay. Okay. I weren't. Okay. All right. But so listen, if you're feeling stressed, do you want to feel stressed or not? No, no. I don't want. Of course no. not, right? I so I, I wish. So I, how would you say that? I weren't. I weren't feeling so very stressed. I, I wish, right? I weren't feeling very. Oh, okay. Then use, you know, very. Now, again, we should not be using very, but okay, we're going to leave it there. All right, so next one. If only. If only. If only. I had. I had. I have learned. learned how to swim when I was a child. Okay, very good. If only. Only I hadn't. If only the sun. I hadn't. Well, I hadn't. Yes. Given, I hadn't. given away. Given away. All my old CDs. And yes. DVDs and last. DVDs last summer. Very good. I watched too much TV and didn't read enough when I was a kid. If only. If only. I. I hadn't watched. Hadn't. I don't know. I hadn't, I hadn't watched much, too, much too much TV. TV. Hold on, too much TV. And wow. didn't read enough <laughs> when I oops. Enough was, when I was a kid. All right, no, so let's see, right? A, no, this is incorrect. So yes. they're not incorrect, guys. They're correct. It's just if only my grades had been better last semester. If only my grades had been had been good. It's okay. Both answers are good, are okay, guys. But okay, let's use this. If only my grades had been better last semester, okay? Now, well, I want you to notice something. I like this this answer too, and both answers are great, right? But notice that we're not using very, okay? And there is a okay. reason why, okay? Which is good. I thought that the platform was going to use very, but no. Okay, okay. very, no. Then our answer was, I wish I knew how to dance very well. See? We should not be using very, okay. very right? Okay. Exactly. Right. I wish I weren't feeling very stressed. We should not be using very. I wish I weren't feeling so stressed these days. Very good. If only I hadn't watched so much television. If only I hadn't watched... Watch too much so much Mari, both, bo both answers are correct guys it's just that here it's used in television oh and and there's had read more yeah so yeah so anyways so these are the answers guys right hold on and the so, other one i wish i wanted if only i hadn't watched too much television and had read more when I was a kid. Fine. they're fine they're i fine. wish i wouldn't our answers were fine too, guys. Oh, what about this one? I wish I weren't feeling so stressed these days. Right, so stressed. All right, so there, right. There, there you have them, guys. Okay, those are the answers for this part. Easy peasy, Tisha. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call me, I'm sorry. <laughs> these, are actually, these are actually very easy, but you're gonna learn, guys. It's English is not difficult, guys. Oh, you just no. need to. You need. You, you need two things. You need. When you know, it's not difficult. No. You need to. You, you, need, you need to have a teacher. You need, to, you need to have someone, or you really need to have someone who can explain. Because, guys, there are bad students, right? But usually, guys, there are more bad teachers than than students. You know. Yeah. That's, that's because people, yeah, there are teachers who really don't know how to teach. And that's a problem because sometimes it's not the student, you know, it's, it's actually, you know, someone not being able to explain, you know? So anyways, uh, what else, guys? What else? Which one? Well, this one. Only. You know Only. Only. Only that one? No, no. No. Only. 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 Only, only this exercise. Yes. All right. Very good. 
Let's get started then. No, okay. or, or two. I need to start. Two. The what? Four two? Four point two? <laughs> but yes, but, but this is next. Next. Oh, no, we're not we're not doing four right now. Yes, no. Yes, no. All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, so, guys, we were talking yesterday about indirect questions, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, so anyways, right? We still need to finish that topic because in the questions, it sounds easy, but right, there is like quite a few rules that we need to that we need to cover. All right. Yes. So. Yes. So um, so let me share this here. All right. So really, 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 really good. So yesterday we went over yes or no questions, right? How to turn yes or no questions into indirect questions, right? Yes or no? So this is what we learned yesterday. So now guys, how do we turn WH questions? But before that, let's do a quick review of what we saw yesterday. All right, so guys, remember, do me a favor. I'm gonna say it in Spanish, guys, guys. Me encanta que participen, right? Pero cuando estén, cuando, exactamente cuando participen, digamos que yo voy a hablar, Yo abro mi micrófono, dos segundos, empiezo a hablar en segundo tres, y cuando termino de hablar, lo muteo, ¿ok? Let's do that, ¿ok? Because okay. si me lo mantienen abierto todo el tiempo, yo puedo ir Noticias Cuatro Visión, ay, María la del Barrio, right? I don't know, guys, I don't know what's on TV these days, right? So yes, please mute it, guys. Keep it muted while you're not participating, ¿ok? All right, very good, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so... All right, so so yeah, so so tell me guys, how do we turn all right a yes or no question right into an indirect question? How do we turn it? We explained that yesterday, so I'm not gonna explain it today. I wanna know that if I wanna know if you got it. We made a lot of exercises yesterday, so tell me, how do we turn it? Let's see. Mm. Have you, right, so let's see, direct question, right? Have you been exercising? Exercising, right? Have you been exercising? Have you been exercising? Go ahead. Take your notes. I I wonder if you have been exercising. Beautiful job, exactly, right? So I wonder if you have been exercising. Good job, question mark or no question mark? No question mark, no question mark. No marks. question mark, right? Very good. All right, so give me another question. Give me a question in past perfect. Yes or no that's, question? That's perfect. Um, okay, good. I was wondering. No, a di know? direct question. Ah, indirect question. Okay. Direct okay. question. Have, have you ever been in Spain? Had you ever been in Spain like this? Had you ever been Sp in Spain? How? No. Past have. perfect. No, past perfect have. is not have. That is present perfect. I want something in past perfect. So yeah, had you ever, so see, had you ever been in Spain, right? Had you ever been in Spain, right? Had you ever been in Spain? So how do you turn this into an indirect question? Is, I wonder if you have... I, I wonder? I wonder. wonder. I, I wonder, okay, wonder. wonder. If you have. If you have or had? Had. Had. Very good. If you had. Been, been in Spain. Been in Spain. In Spain. 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 In Spain. In Spain. Exactly. I wonder if you had been in Spain. Good job, okay? I wonder. If you had been in Spain, good job. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, plus, guys, very well done, right? So, yeah. Uh, 
teacher, but that uh, in the word ever, uh, we can use it. I was wondering if you have you, ever you, been in Spain. How do you ever, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, what, is, what is yours? Mm. I was wondering if you have ever been in Spain. Yeah, we can say that. It's okay. 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 Yeah. All right. That's good too, guys. Very good. All right. So, guys, okay. So, yesterday, right? Very well done, guys. So, if you remember how to turn yes or no questions into indirect questions, okay, if this is the way how to do it, right? Do we have any questions, guys? So, we can move on to the next uh, topic. Do we have any questions about turning yes or no questions into indirect questions? Oh, teacher, everything's clear for me. Everything is clear as vodka Petrov 3000%. All right, very good. 100%. Very good, yes. Very good. Okay. So, um, all right. So, then, guys, we have the other example. How do we turn WH questions into indirect questions? One of the examples would be remember, guys, to mute yourselves after you finish participating, please. Okay. Or turn off the TV, guys. You can do that too, right? Pueden apagar el tele. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So anyways, so what would be an example, guys, of turning a WH question into an indirect question? He wondered what time the party started. Okay. So this is an example of an indirect question, which is, you know, a WH question, right? So let's talk about that, right? So indirect right in the right questions with w h words all right so let's see guys let's see ladies and gentlemen from the flood universe let's see how we do this let's see let's see let's see so okay so first of guys let's see w squared wh words guys what are they What, where, what, where? We have hmm. what, what, where, 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 who, who, who when, when, who, how, which, why. We're gonna leave it here. Okay. All right. Very good. So I want somebody to ask me a WH question. Anybody. Why were you crying yesterday? Yesterday at the street. Okay, so your question is why were you crying, crying yesterday, yesterday on the street? On the street. Okay, very good. Okay, why were you crying yesterday on the street? Okay, I want you to notice, guys, the WH word that we're using because we're going to be using that a lot. Okay, all right, so remember the WH word that we're using here. All right. Okay. Uh, give me another one. Give me another one. All right. Let's have another one, guys. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. What? Okay. So, what are you doing, guys? Give me sentences that are not in simple press and are in present progress, right? Let's let's go advanced, guys. Are we advanced or not? Yes. Yes, we are. Where have you been these days? Okay. So where have you been these, these days? days? Very good. Okay. What else? Give me another one. Come on, think. Of when things, when um, will be the party? <clears throat> when will be the party? When will be the party? That is incorrect. When will the the party party the take party place? Very good. So give me another one. I have I have one question. What time did you come back last night? What time did you come back at last night? Okay, very good. All right, very good. All right, we're gonna leave it there. 
So what do we do, guys? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you an example of turning the first question into an indirect question, right? So how do we do that? Right? Easy peasy, guys. All right, so let's talk about the tarifas mensuales son lo peor. Así que deja indirect question, all right? So the first one would be, remember guys, we're gonna use the same structure as before. The only thing that we're gonna change is the, the, the yes or no format, okay? So according to the structure that we I gave you yesterday, guys, what is the first thing that you have to, to think about? Uh, the phrase. Okay, structure. Okay, very good. So I need a phrase, right? So I need a, how do we call those phrases? I would like, I wonder. I don't know, how do we call them? I like to know. No, how do we call those phrases? Introductory what? phrases. Okay, very good, an introductory phrase, right? Right, very good. So an introductory phrase, phrase right? What is the second thing that we need? And then, um, the mm -hmm. the and the the clauses if uh, if, if a weather clause. if clause the if clause or weather all right so here guys we're not gonna use that that's the thing that's gonna change here uh -huh. okay we're gonna use the w h word okay and then what do we need? If. No. We need the, the tense, word? right? The yeah. tense. We're going to call it the tense, okay? Actually, the, the sentence. The sentence, okay? We're going to do the sentence. And it's, it's tense, okay? The sentence in its tense. Right. All right. So let's follow that structure, guys. Okay. So give me an introductory phrase from the ones that I gave you yesterday. I would like to know. Okay. So I wonder. I would like to know. I would like to know. I would like to know. I would like to know, or I wonder, right? Let's go with I would like to know. I would yes. like to know. Very good. What else do we need? Why? Yeah, for the first. I yeah, would like to know one. where, why you why? cry? Why? Why you were crying? Why? Why you are crying? Why? Why, why you were? Why crying? you were crying? You were. Can I say? Okay, I was. You I would were like to know crying. why. Why were you crying yesterday on no. the street? Can I no. say this? No. 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 Why not? Why were yes. But why not? Can I say because, can I, uh -huh. because it isn't a direct question? Because yeah, it's an indirect question, right? So so what's and wrong with uh, me saying I would like to know why were you crying yesterday on the street? That sounds good why to me. You right? why, 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 why you crying? You were crying yesterday. You were crying. I, I know, but listen, okay. why? They give me, tell me why, not don't. The, the auxiliary must be after the pronoun. Okay, very good. Why you, very good. Why you were crying Dead. on the street? Yesterday. Yesterday, right? Is this correct now? No, no we, without a question mark. Oh, without a question mark. There you go. Thank you, guys. Thank you for paying attention. Good job. Good yes. job. Those are those are my students, guys. Very good, very good, right? You paid attention yesterday. Very good. So see, no, guys, a common mistake is why were you were you crying, right? I would like to know why were you crying yesterday, right? Guys, this is incorrect because remember, this is not yesterday. I explained this is not the structure of a question, right? I would like to know. It's not a question. It's a what? It's a sentence, right? It's a, it's a statement. Introductory phrase. Okay, and then why, right? Why is just, you know, working as a relative pronoun, right? But anyways, we don't need, guys, the auxiliary here. Why you? Now, somebody say, why you crying? Can I say you crying, guys? 
No. no you need the verb oh. be, right? Oh. Yes, right? verb. You the word thing makes Very sense. So. All right, that's how we do it. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. Okay, so now, guys, you do the rest. All right, okay. follow follow the same. All right, you do the rest. I'm gonna yes. give you five minutes, so let's go. Yes. All right, you do the rest and give me the answers. All right, do it, do it in your notebooks, guys, and then I'll ask you, okay? All right, guys, did we finish? Or are you still working on them? Did you? I finished. Almost, almost there? All right.
All right, all right, all right. We'll see. All right, guys. So, um, <clears throat> so let's see, guys. Right? Let's take a look at your answers. All right. So, number two. What do we have for number two? I'm gonna read your chats, guys, in a moment. But let's see if everybody's got the same answers. Okay. So, what do, you, what do we got for number two, guys? I wonder right, so what you have... are doing. Okay, so. Hey guys, are you seeing my whole screen or are you seeing just the presentation? Yeah, the, the whiteboard, screen. right? The whiteboard. You're seeing the whiteboard, the black, right? The whiteboard, yes. Okay, very good. So, number two, guys. Uh, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder what you are doing. What exactly, right? What you, not what, what are, right? You, what you are. What you are doing. What you are doing. I was wondering what we are doing. What are you doing? I wonder what you are doing. No, this, this is okay. You can say I was wondering or I wonder. That's okay, right? Oh. Question, question mark or no okay. question mark? No, no question mark. No question mark, no. right? Very good. Number three. Was I wonder three? where you have been this day. Very good, okay. I wonder where you have been these, right? These days. I wonder now let's just not use I wonder. Can I use something else, guys, inside from I wonder? I, I was wondering. I'd like to know. Was wondering, I right? I was wondering, wondering where you have been these days. All right, very good. Number four. I'd let's, like to know. I'd like to know. When the party will take place. When the party will take place. Please, very good, very good. Yes. Uh, can I say, guys? Let's just. I wanted to know. I wanted to know. Go ahead. What time, what time you came, you came back, back at last night? What time what you time came, you came back, back at, at last, last night. night? Well done, guys! Congratulations. Good job, guys. A plus for everybody. You got my respect. Good job, guys. Good job. You don't need me, guys. You guys are the teachers. No. <laughs> you guys are officially hired by English Corporativo, right? You can oh. teach. At least you can teach direct and indirect questions now. <laughs> All right. Very good, guys. Right. And the third type of uh, holding. So, do we have any questions, guys, about how to turn direct questions into indirect questions with WH words? No, everything's clear. Ask the water. Everything is clear? Ask the water. Like the clear, water. Clear as, as the water. Vodka petrol. As as the water. Vodka. Okay. All right, very good. All right. So the third, guys, the third example, guys. All right. So... The third example would be embedded questions. Do you, have you ever heard about embedded questions? Is that something that, go ahead. Embedded questions. Uh, wow, well, I, I have learned that an embedded question is uh, a second question uh, into, the into, a, into the same, this, into the same one. <laughs> Okay. That was a question. So, okay, so we're not gonna go, yes, that, that is correct, guys. That is actually true, all right? We're not gonna go over embedded questions is not something that you're gonna see in the platform, all right? But just know that, you know, this is the third form of questions that you can use with indirect, that you can turn into indirect questions, okay? The ones that we're gonna be focusing on are these two, okay? So with what you know already, right? I know that you've done the section two, you finished section two already, but you know why now, right? You know why mm -hmm. we have the answers that we got now. Okay, very good guys. So then, right, uh, what are some of the, why do we use guys direct in indirect questions, okay? 
So who would like to help me read? I tried missing. Yes, go ahead. Using uh, in the indirect question in formal writing. Avoiding direct direct question in academic writing, in a formal writing, direct question can be seen as informal or unprofessional. An indirect question can be used instead to sound more professional. Yes, guys. A clear example, you know, the the, the most real example, unless you, you are writing a book, you know, or whatnot. Um, but an actual example, guys, on why we should not be using direct questions sometimes is, for example, when you're writing emails, right? When we write okay. emails, guys, right? We don't, we, we're not asking, uh, when are you going to pay me, right? <laughs> or can you increase my salary, right? I was wondering if it is okay to increase my salary, right? See, that is, that sounds better, right? It sounds more professional. It sounds more polite. So that's you know one of the reasons why we use indirect indirect questions instead, right? We also guys use, and that's the second point, we, we use indirect questions to show politeness. All right. An indirect question is more polite than a direct question. Okay. Even if you don't like it, girls, but right, I, I guess I guess you like to play that game of being indirect. I am very direct, you know, but people are like more indirect. Um because because um how what sounds better ladies does it sound better when some when you know well you guys are adults now right but did it sound better when they said um ¿Quieres ser mi novia? right do you want to be my girlfriend <laughs> or or did it, sound, did, did, did it sound or do you love me right or did it sound better when they were they, they were saying oh, i was wondering if you would give me the opportunity of being your boyfriend mm -hmm. <laughs> okay which one sounds i which, like that yes which one sounds which one sounds better yeah direct no which one which one would you present to your would you would you introduce to your mom <laughs> which one would you have introduced to your mom the second one right yes yes right? okay oh you know yes of course. i was i was wondering if you would give me the pleasure of being becoming your boyfriend <laughs> to get married with you <laughs> yeah yeah exactly right right they won't they won't say exactly that's a good example actually people usually don't say hey i have i have a ring here do you want to get married right <laughs> no <laughs> right they would be like hey you know what we've been together for a long time and i was oh, wondering man. right <laughs> if you would give me the we chance to be <laughs> yeah so yeah. yeah all right that's nice guys that's nice you're remembering your your <laughs> your yes. past all right very good all right so so we also guys using direct questions in indirect questions in conversations right again uh they just give you a clear example on when we use them um just because of the simple fact that it sounds more polite and and this is something there's something very interesting here in a non-demanding way Okay, when you ask something, guys, when you um, when you ask for something <clears throat> with a direct question, it sounds kind of demanding, right? Like somebody is demanding demanding something something from you. Yes. Okay. All right. So it's true, guys. It's true, right? Um. Also, guys, how do we identify the in the an indirect question? So I have a quick exercise for you. All right. I want everybody guys take a take take one minute. No, actually take two minutes. I think you can solve this in two minutes. Okay. Analyze this guys and tell me and, and let's see guys which one. I think it'll take you like one minute, guys, to be honest, now that you know. So yes. which one is that? Is this a, an indirect question? What is your name? Direct or indirect, no, guys? It's di it direct question. Direct. Direct. The first one is like direct question. All right. Why? Why can you tell that that's an, a direct question? You use the question mark in the in the W word <laughs> W H question. All right. The question mark gives it away, right? 
It's very good. The question mark. That's that's what other thing tells you that that's a that great question. It doesn't have any any introductory phrase. That is correct. It doesn't have any introductory phrase at the beginning. Okay, very good. What else gives it away? And you start with the word the WH question. Just well, yeah, but and okay, you start with a WH question. Yes, but we're gonna have a WH question or a WH word. I'm sorry, we're still gonna have a WH word, uh, even if it is an indirect question. So what is different here? But this the bear is no before that. The, the difference here, right? One of the biggest differences here is that we have we have this. Right? Yes, the, bear the auxiliary, the auxiliary yeah. comes afterwards, right? Very good. So what about this? I'm curious about where you're from. Oh, but guys, write this down. I'm curious about. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm curious. I'm curious. Repeat, guys. Curious. I'm curious. 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 Guys, some of you are saying curious. 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 It's Q. Q. Curious. Now, repeat. Q. Curious. 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 I'm curious. Curious. Very good. Curious. Very good. So, what about this? Is this direct or indirect? Indirect. I'm in, uh, indirect. It says, I'm curious indirect. about where you're from. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? If, all right, um, if this, okay, I know that this right here, guys, this part is that direct question, right? But it's, this is yes. like an embedded phrase. Question. Exactly, exactly. This is an example of an embedded question. Exactly. Embedded, embedded question. Okay, okay, yes, but it's an indirect question, right? Very good, good job. Do you know how to cook this dish? Direct it's or indirect? In, indirect. Direct. Indirect. 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 Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> You're getting confused. <coughs> Tell oh, me, direct or indirect? Direct. It's direct. Direct. You ask direct. A question mark. Specific person, yes. Do you know? Yes. It has a question mark, and also it starts with a structure of a question. If yes. it starts with a structure of a question, it is not a, an indirect question, okay? All right. Do you know how to cook this dish? That is a direct question. How would yes. you, and, and tell you what, the, and, and you can be 100% sure that this is a direct question because you can turn it into an indirect question. An indirect question can't be turned into an indirect question because it's already turned into an indirect question, okay? So can you turn this into a, an indirect question, yes or no? Yeah. Yes, so how do you turn it into an indirect yes. question? Tell me. I would like I to wonder I wonder wonder if you know how to cook this dish. Exactly, right? Exactly, yes. guys. So see? So now I'll tell you something. For example, this right here. This question. Uh, I'm curious about where you're from. Could you tell me? This right here. I'm curious about where you're from. Here, guys. Can you turn this into an indirect question? Yes. Tell me. Add direct. Yes or no, guys? Can you turn it into an indirect question? Yes or no? No. No, that is right? It's indirect question. Okay, very good. Exactly, guys. Okay. So that's an example on how you know, you know, that you can't turn a question into an indirect question because here, right? You can't. If you try, so you, you will not. You will not be able to. Okay. If you're not able to, it's because that's it. That is already an indirect question, right? Yeah. Is this an indirect question? She asked whether the train was delayed. Or that direct or indirect, Rafa. 
direct or indirect? And uh, it does indirect. Okay, Rafa, what do you think, Rafa? I think it's indirect. Yes, it's indirect, right? Why? Why is it indirect? Because doesn't have more question. Well, okay, it doesn't have a question mark, okay. All right, very good. Good job. Thank you. That that's one reason, right? There are more reasons, but that's good. All right, Joaquin Ramirez. Is this an indirect question? Can you tell me if the store is still open? Open. Is direct the last question? It's a what? Mm -hmm. I think is indirect uh, is direct questions. Do you think it's uh okay? Can you tell me if the store is still open? Because, yes, it's a direct because, question. Because uh, the sentence has a uh, question mark at the end. Exactly. Thank you very much. That is one reason, right? But it, the all the other reason is what isn't the other reason, guys? Why this is a direct question? Use a clause if. No. No. Yes, Thank you. Can, right? Because it has the structure of a question. It has a structure of a question, right? It is an indirect question. Do you remember where you put your keys? Do you remember where you put your keys? It's direct. direct it's a direct question, too, That's right? Direct exactly. questions, but an embedded one, too. <clears throat> Mm, no, no, it's not. In, it's not embedded. No. Um, is this an indirect question? He wanted to know if I had finished the book. Indirect. Indirect question. Indirect, right? See, it doesn't have the structure of a question. All right. What about this? Can you tell me what time it is? Direct. Direct or indirect? Direct. Direct. Direct, but embedded. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, very yeah. good. Can you tell me what time it is? Okay. Is this an indirect question? She asked whether he had received the email. Indirect. Indirect. All right. Indirect. indirect. Okay, uh, that is indirect, right? Uh, do you know if they have any vegetarian vegetarian options? Direct question. Direct, direct, direct question. All right, it's a direct question, right? Okay, very good, guys. All right, so we know, guys, okay, so we learned what the difference is between direct questions and indirect questions, right? Hey, notice how I spoke. I said, we learned what the difference is. I didn't say, we learned what is the difference between, got it, guys? If I had said, we learned what is the difference between, people speak like that, guys, and that is not correct, right? We learned what the difference is between a direct and indirect, direct I mean, indirect an indirect, indirect question, question, right? So guys, yes. um, we're gonna practice this exercise before we leave. I want you guys to couple up and you're gonna ask your partner about their favorite book. If you, if you don't like reading guys, I don't know guys, imagine asking someone what the favorite book is and the only thing that that person reads is the subtitles from The Fast and the Furious, right? <laughs> so, so, Obviously, you're not going to ask them about their favorite book, right? If they like, you know, the Fast and the Furious, like Fast and the Furious, guys, is good, right? It's good. It's like the reggaeton from movies. But if you like it, that's fine. So uh, so ask them guys about their favorite movie if they don't like reading books, right? But ask them about their favorite books, right, without using that direct question. And actually, that actually, guys, I have more questions here that you can ask, but... You can ask them about anything. I just don't want you to ask anybody a question which is direct, okay? I want only indirect questions, got it? Okay. Quiero, direct quiero que se pregunten, preguntas indirectas, right? Y que respondan, right? That's what I want. No direct okay. questions, don't, don't ask them. How are mm -hmm. you today? No, instead of how are you mm -hmm. today, I was wondering how you so feel today, you? right? Okay. Right? Very good, got it guys? That's what you're gonna practice. Okay, so let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's join, let's join guys because we only have five minutes, let's go.
Evelyn, hello. How are you hello. doing? I'm fine. I'm alone again. <laughs> yeah, Daniel is supposed to be here, but <laughs> some people stay in the... I'm going to get you together with some other people, okay? No worries. I have uh, <laughs> a banana, oh, I don't know. breakfast, uh, a cup of milk, and uh, um, two eggs, and a coffee, a cup of coffee. Uh, sorry if you hear my husband is is thinking. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, ask me. Okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> I was I I'd like to know how to what uh, kind of book uh, you you read. Book. Okay. Uh, um laptop is not plugged in. I try to um I like to read um the Bible. Ah, the, Only the Bible. Yes. I know, I know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like to and mm -hmm. um, I like to know when is when the graduate the graduate the your boy when is the graduate no. I like to know when the graduate when I was excited, is no, your about your daughter about your my song song, yes, <laughs> Camilo. yes, yes. Okay, uh, I don't ask the well the the question. I don't know. I like to know when the when, graduate when is, your song was graduated. Well, well, uh, my two sons was graduated. Mm, uh, when when your two graduated. sons graduated, you don't say graduated. what was grad. No. Okay, yes. graduated. When they graduated. When they they graduated in, on December. Uh, last December. Or the last year. Well, yes, on December. On the same way. Yeah. Okay. And um, I'd like to know uh, how many song, how many boys do you have? Okay, I have um, two boys. That that is incorrect. That is incorrect. No. Okay, I I'd like to know um, how many boys. How many. many boys do you have? You have exactly. You have, right? Do you have? Is incorrect. Okay. You yes. Have. Yes. We're, we're gonna have to go back now, right? Because okay. it's time. I but... have... Okay. Bye. Yes. Yes. It is. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I know practice felt practice felt uh, very short today, guys. Um, we're gonna get more practice during these days. I do have to start another class right now, so I hope you enjoyed the topic today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you guys. Good night. Yeah,